what's going on guys it's Drew I'm back with another video this video is a collection of my Xbox and PS1 controllers uh, starting to amass a pretty good collection um, I do have a scuff order uh, a scuff controller on order and I will be doing an unboxing of that um, but for right now I wanted to uh, share the controllers with you. Um, also, this video is going to include some of my Fade Grips. Um, I'm currently sponsored by Fade Grips, so if you go to uh, fadegrips.store and put the code in Drew's Games, capital D, capital G, you will get a percentage off. Um, I think it might be like 10% or something. Um, but they're, uh, I just ordered some more um, grips, and uh, I think I paid $8 for like four, four grips or something like that. So it's, it's pretty cheap, and plus when you use the code, you get um, percentage off and makes it even cheaper. But let's uh, get, we'll start off first with my Sea of Thieves controller. <clears throat> and it is on a uh, a rechargeable stand, which I just use it for a display because I just got the regular batteries in here. But this is my Sea of Thieves controller, and it does have the um, fade grips on there, which these are really nice. I mean, they they stick it on there pretty good. Plus, it protects your um, grips. I know a lot of uh, people have been complaining that they're uh, rubber on their controllers has been coming off and for me I like aesthetics so when something starts getting deformed it just bugs the crap out of me so I would for two, four bucks I think these were I would invest in it and plus with the discount uh, Drew's Games capital D capital G at the checkout you can use that code and get a percentage off I think that'd be like three dollars and some change after that But these will protect your grips and it also gives you a, a good grip. I mean these things are are pretty nice <clears throat> And they're real easy to put on and you take them off um, This camera don't focus very well, but you just stick them on there and They just fit right over top of the controller there as you see well that one came off it's kind of hard to do with one hand but you just put it around the edge of the controller and they're on there but this is the limited edition sea of thieves this is an awesome looking controller i don't really play with this controller much i have um but i really don't want to get it messed up i mean this this controller just looks awesome it's it's just a very nice controller. I mean, I wish PlayStation would start coming out with some theme controllers. Because uh, this is nice. It has the glow-in-the-dark skull, which I think that's pretty cool. <clears throat> and the gold trigger, which is uh, nice to look at. <clears throat> then on the back, it's got this emblem. Um... I don't know if it'll focus on that or not. Um, eh, it don't focus very well. This is, I'm using my phone because I don't have a regular camera, so it's it's uh, kind of crappy. There it goes, a little bit focused. Uh, it's got that design on there, which is pretty nice. This is an all-over nice controller. I think you still can get these controllers on Amazon. But uh, I think I ordered mine, pre-ordered mine through Best Buy, and I paid like $70 or something for it, $80, something like that. But on Amazon, they're going for like 100 and something bucks. So uh, this is a nice controller. If you're into collecting controllers and you want a limited edition controller that's probably not going to be around much longer, this is a nice controller to get. <clears throat> uh, I guess we'll move this way. 
We'll go to my Xbox, since we're on Xbox, I might as well go to, I got that stand too for like, I think 20 bucks at, uh, this one I got on Amazon, or no, this one I got on, at, um, GameStop and the, the PlayStation one I got on Amazon, and, and they're pretty nice and they're easy, especially when you, they come with the, uh, packs and the, and the different backings, so you can charge it, and all you do is just set it in there. And it charges it was really nice and plus it displays it pretty nice but this is just my regular um, Xbox controller green and gray it does have the fade grips on there I think these ones are the candies which I really don't care about the colors but I love the way these feel these feel way better than and than these do I mean, I don't know if you could see these little knobs things, and it dips down, but your thumb just fits in there perfect, and it just has an awesome grip in there. I mean, it, your your fingers ain't going nowhere. They're not slipping on there or nothing. Then I don't really, like I said, I don't care for the colors, but you can get different colors. Um... And you can even get the ones that actually have the Fade Grip logo, which I'm them are the ones I've ordered, and they should be coming soon. And I'll do a video on those. <clears throat> but I love the way these feel; they feel so nice. But this, like I said, it's just the regular gray controller. I got this one because I, I traded my white. I got had a plain white um, controller. It was my Xbox. One S controller that I had when I had my S Xbox One S. I traded that one in and got this one because I just like the the pan, the color scheme. I love the the green with the gray. I mean, it, it is pretty nice. <laughs> and uh, here is my Project Scorpio controller. I do have the. Uh, Xbox One X Project Scorpio Edition, which is totally awesome. I mean, it, it, I'm not an Xbox person, like I've said in my videos in the past. I'm a PlayStation guy, always have been. But man, that Project Scorpio Edition, it just, especially with the Xbox Enhanced games, it's just unbelievable how the, the graphics look in that. And again, they have the, um, I think these are the candies. And it has the same style gripping as the other ones and the the color scheme on this one is not that bad i mean it doesn't go with this controller but <clears throat> uh, if you had like um a different color controller or something like a blue or a green or a red something that would match it it would probably look look nice but i just like i said i love the way these feel i love the way they you grip on there but this is also an limited edition controller. You only can get this controller um, with the um, Project Scorpio Xbox, which is it's basically just a regular controller that has the the logo on it. I mean, it's nothing honestly special about it, but still, it's 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 a cool controller, and, and it's nice to have. And we'll move on to the latest edition of my collection, which is my Xbox Elite controller. And by far, this is the best controller that I have. I mean, this this is, if you're wanting a gaming controller, especially if you have an Xbox, I mean, I wish PlayStation would come out with one of these, like an original PlayStation Elite controller because the these you are definitely made very well and um, the quality is very well and it has all the options that you would want on uh, the controller like if you went to scuff or battle beaver or whatever and made this controller you're gonna pay at least two hundred dollars if not more for it and this controller was 130 bucks, I think it was. And it's just the way it feels is awesome. It has the uh, grips on the back of it already. And you know, that's an added cost that Scuff or, or Battle Beaver. Or, and it has the four paddle sticks 
with I think scuff you can't even get four you only can get two um, battle beaver you can, I think you can get up to six buttons which the buttons I gotta give it to battle beaver I think the buttons would be a lot more durable and a lot last a lot longer but these are still nice I mean I don't play it that often so um, this thing will probably last me and and what I do like about this is it has the dual mode feature I don't think um, scuff or battle beaver or any other custom controllers have that you can program two settings into this like me I do Forza so I program one for Forza and you can actually name it um, in the program it's named Forza and this other one I do for Call of Duty so it's automatically set up for Call of Duty so if I'm playing Forza and then I say you know what I feel like some Call of Duty BAM I switch that over my Call of Duty settings are already set up I don't have to go into the app and screw with anything so that is awesome and I definitely love this disc over the uh, the regular d-pad I mean it is just so nice and the things just they mag I mean you could feel it right there pulling back in as I'm trying to take that off I mean it's it's got pretty strong magnets and it also comes with the three heights I did a video on this if y'all want to go check that out <clears throat> um, but this is a really nice controller really durable and it does have the trigger stops you can uh, press this button for halfway and then I press it up for all the way and uh, if that if that's a big feature for you uh, the one thing I, I would have to give to Battle Beaver is they have a very awesome stop that's just like you barely it, I mean it barely press it like this and it and it's already going so if you're playing um, shooter games I mean that's a, a quite an advantage I don't even think scuff goes that quickly but it's like it's like you're pressing this your trigger button becomes that it's like you're pressing one of these buttons <clears throat> and it's very very uh, fast so I have to give it to Battle Beaver for that but this is an awesome controller um, and also comes with the case which I like and it also comes with the um, the thing built in for all your accessories so if you want to take this uh, to a buddy's house or whatever you have all the things right there with you to switch it if you need to switch it <clears throat> and that is all my Xbox controllers and this is the cover skin for the um, fade grips um, you can get buy these covers they they do have pretty good um, gripping on them and uh, they're nice uh, if you have a controller like you know like this one if I didn't want to uh, um, get this controller messed up or anything I, I could slip this in here it, and it does get a pretty tight fit so they're they're kind of you gotta work with them to get them on there but they fit very nice and this is hard to do looking through the camera and they seem like they're pretty durable and I think I've already put this on wrong okay I gotta put it in through the back duh you slip it on through the back back here this is taking way longer than I thought <clears throat> I got this all screwed up here. There we go. Now, once you get it on there, you do have to work it around to get it to to fit comfortably but I mean once you get it on there I mean it fits pretty good and it's a pretty good fit and, it, and it's pretty durable um, pretty stretchy um, when I'm putting it on I almost feel like I'm going to break it but it, it don't break it's pretty stretchy um, 
do have the holes right there for the charging. <clears throat> but it, they are nice covers. You can get these in a variety of colors. If you guys are interested in this, um, you can go to Fade Grips. Dot store and use the promo code Drew Games capital D capital G all one word um, and these are pretty nice for you know if you're going to be in a long gaming session these make your hands not sweat as much and they have like awesome grip I mean it feels nice it's kind of like a, a hard like uh, not hard, but like a latex feel, but way, way thicker. So they're pretty nice. And now we'll move on to the PlayStation controllers. <clears throat> I did get the uh, Glacier White. Um, PS4 Pro from GameStop. It was a limited edition GameStop. Which it looks exactly like the Destiny 2 um, PlayStation. But this is the controller that came with it. It's just a regular white controller. I still like it. Um, especially like the gray accents. That way it, it, it kind of breaks up the white. But um, that's a nice controller. And I got this red one, which this is the one I play all the time. I don't know. I just love this red. It is really nice. Which is just regular controllers. Like I said, I wish uh, PlayStation had some theme controllers. It would be nice to have. I do have my PlayStation 4 scuff controller on order. I will be doing a boxing of that. Um when uh, that comes in and uh, like I said um, a lot of this stuff you can get like um, almost all this stuff you can get on Amazon um, you just go to amazon.com I'm not I don't think I'm gonna leave a link because it'd be a long time to trying to get all this stuff uh, the Xbox Elite Pro controller I got from GameStop um, and a lot of this other stuff, like I said, you can get on Amazon for pretty cheap. And I did just order another one of these stands. I believe it's just a stand, but it's a Project Scorpio stand for my uh, controller. So uh, I'll be putting this one. Um, yeah, I'll be putting this one in here, and I'll be putting that on my stand. And I'll probably end up getting another limited edition controller. Uh, Xbox One has a bunch of them. So it's it's pretty nice to that they have those. I mean, I I'm, I'm going to start collecting them. I don't think they're ever going to be worth anything, but you never know. I mean, retro games are some games are still worth something, some are not. But anyway, this video is way too long now, so I'm going to end it here. And if you like this video, be sure to smash that like button. I need to get about 100 likes on this video. Um, and be sure to write a comment. Um, comment what your favorite controller is. Uh, if you ha collect controllers or have any controllers you like. Um, uh, be sure to comment. Um, if you went to Fade Grips and used my promo code. Um, comment below uh, with your Twitter handle and I'll shout you out on Twitter. And um, I'll get uh, Fade Grips to shout you out too. Um, for now, this video is way too long. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but until another video, happy gaming.